And this is a dangerous team because of their depth, their length, their style. They are no fun to play against. And yes, Carolina beat Florida State in both of the regular season matchups. Just one made three against Virginia Tech yesterday, but he is liable to go off at any time. Baba Miller with the first bucket of the game. Where is he? I can't find him. There he is, right there. He comes off that little cross screen, and then there's a down screen for him. And right now, Watkins is on Cadeau. Back cut by R.J. Davis. Missed the layup. It hit his foot, and it winds up in the hands of Cormac Ryan, who misses the three. Armando Baycott with the offensive rebound, and he can't convert. What a magnificent year for R.J. Davis. Better than 21 a game. Off the glass, he banks it home. Harrison Ingram, the transfer from Stanford. What a great year he has had for the Heels. Davis always in motion. Finds an open Ingram, and he buries it. And now we're having a, an issue with one of the baskets. Something is hanging by a thread, literally. Great stuff, Jess. Thank you. 5-2 Carolina early. Dan Schulman, Jay Billis, Jess Sims. And Baba Miller ties it with a corner three. He's got all five early for Florida State. Trimble can really attack off the dribble, especially with a right-hand drive. They're trying to make it tough on Davis, and they do. A block by Warley. Well, Darren Green Jr. last couple games really struggled, but he's a good shooter, man. And how about when Harrison Baycott runs the floor? He gets some easy buckets. <laughs> Armando Baycott getting down the floor. Second team all ACC this year. And the mid-range jumper for Cam Corrin to tie it up for the Seminoles. This is a Seminoles team not under consideration for the NCAA tournament at this time. Obviously, they've got a lot of work to do as Trimble knocks it down. Baycott knocks it away. Corrin gets it back. You saw Carolina playing off Warley. He is not a three-point shooter, but he can get to the rim, and he can follow his own miss. Knocked away from behind. Corrin tipped it away. Worley out ahead of the pack, and he lays it in as Florida State takes the lead. Corrin switches out onto Davis. Davis can't get rid of him, trying to get by him. And you know what? You tip your cap to Davis on that one if you're the Seminoles. Yeah, talk about great offense being just a little bit better than outstanding defense. Against Virginia Tech, a Florida State ACC tournament record, 34 points. 14 of 17 from the line. Not a good shot. Air ball by Miller. Watkins puts it home. And Florida State turned nothing into something because of it. Baycott baseline for the jam. Yeah, that's the kind of strength that Carolina has to play with against this Florida State team because the Seminoles are attacking. Three substitutions, including Jalen Ganey, a 6'9", 60-year player coming in. What a left-handed scoop. That was beautiful by Cadeau. He gives it to Jalen Washington. This drive, he just drives the closeout, gets right by Bull Bowen. And that's a spec. He's been playing really well of late. I thought he was really good in that game against Duke. I think he had eight rebounds in that one. Watkins kicks to a wide open Taylor Bull Bowen. Midway through the first half, Florida State, the nine seed with a one point lead. Bidow, Washington lays it in. Florida State switches one through five. Watkins strong again. A foul on Ingram, and the basket will count. 11 rebounds, and talk about strength. He just went right into the neck of Harrison Ingram to get that bucket. Because of his strength, how he gets down in a stance, he is really difficult to get by. Good pass. And Baycott, another bucket. Beautiful. Now here's Cadeau. Like, Corrin gets caught on the high. Spears. He got caught in the air, and he turned it over. Great defense by Cormac Ryan. Cadeau flying down the court and laying it in. Great job by Cormac Ryan to send the ball to the left. Primo Spears made to go to his left, and what an adjust that up at the top, meaning forcing the ball handler to his weak hand, and that was a big part of it. Spears, who can be instant offense off the bench for the Seminoles with a mid-range jumper. Identified that earlier than anybody. He was really the first to use what they call analytics now, points per possession. Spears gets free on the baseline. That's one of his spots. Now he's driving. Tip back up and in by Ingram. And that's a vulnerability. They want it. Not only can they 
cut down the nets and, and win a championship here this week. Also have a chance at a one seed, you would think, if they were to win this. Now watch this. This is an up and under move, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. How do you get how do you get that to go? Good half fake. Tap back out and Ingram's got it again. Ryan is open on the wing and knocks it down. Good decisions. Tipped away by Davis, and he is in all alone. On Florida State, and they're doing it on the defensive end. It has been five playing as one for the baby blue. The plus coming into the building was the only time that Blake Henson isn't in range for a three. <laughs> 106 threes, I believe it is this year, leading the ACC. The Doge back into the game for Carolina. Wow. Davis pulls up from three, and he's into double figures now with 11. Is looking to attack. And how do you guard this? You're trying to stop the drive. Again, Florida State having trouble getting into their offense. They can't run anything. They've yeah. barely been below the free throw line. Watkins taking matters into his own hands, and it's another shot clock violation. Now Ingram's got it. Boy, they are dominating on the offensive glass. Baycott has it. And finally it pays off. Watkins in the corner, swings it to Spears, and he'll hit it. What a pass. That was a bullet. Even Ingram with the four spot can help out. Exactly. Great look. Ingram finds Baycott. Gets a screen from Harrison Ingram. They just throw out of this in order to get the angle to catch him. ACC tournament. And a three goes down. You're not gonna, you're not gonna completely shut off Darren Green Jr. How about that face. Cormac Ryan. But Watkins is one guy that cannot afford to lose. Good pass. Godot in the corner misses the three, and nobody boxes out on the weak side. And Ryan says, "Thank you very much." Well, but you know, if Watkins had gone after the ball, that'd be one thing. But he didn't do either. The dough coast to coast and lays it in with the left. It's even more impressive that look at him fight against Miller inside. He's getting around, fronting, sitting on his legs. Now switches off. Ryan takes him. Green from 17. How quick is that trigger? My goodness. Nobody puts Cadeau in the corner. <laughs> Deep one. Davis short. Long rebound to Ingram. Ryan. And it's all Carolina right now. Which is not something you ask about a Florida State or a Leonard Hamilton team very No. Much. And I think Leonard's going to be asking that question in film session. To go to Davis. Count. Step in three and then R.J. Davis just drop it behind. And he'll drop it in. Will not make the NCAA tournament, and whoever wins will be in good shape, but he's not willing to commit to them getting in. However you want to slice it, it's a doozy. It's an important game. Yeah. The rebounding advantage for North Carolina in this game is stunning. It's 29 to 8. Yeah. Davis with a floater. The rotation is clear. They've got the five starters and then Trimble, Withers, Washington come off the bench. They don't lose much. There's not much drop off there. Look at this feed. Another great cut. And there's Trimble. The other side of the basket to shield off the block shot. That's not an up and under, you know. Copy that. <laughs> that sounds like it should be a given, but it's not. You know, Trimble comes into the game and he just gets down in the stance and defends and if a shot's there, he'll take it. If each out-rebounded the entire Florida State team. Washington gathers and has it rejected. That was a heck of a catch. Trimble the rebound. You're right, he gets up in the air so effortlessly, it looks like. He's a big-time athlete. Yeah. Cadeau, again the driving left-handed layup. Just goes through the legs and just takes off. Gets through two defenders. Just a the first three games of the season for the Target. Spears gets where he wants to get and knocks down another one. He's really been the only offense for Florida State. 
Got 13. And 10 in the last game against these two. Hello. I mean, impressive as anything, but if you're Leonard Hamilton, you're saying way too easy. That is full send. Wow. Arch, they were the regular season champs, but I mean, what he has done for the program and for the sport on and off the court should never be forgotten. Just a, an amazing person. Kept alive. Seminoles first to the floor again. Spears. And Ganey puts it home. He looks like he's 45 years old. He he's 75. Yep. Rojic. Count it. Worley the drive and lays it in. A couple of heels had their backs turned to the ball, so that was an easy one for him. Carolina looking to move on to the semis, up by 22. Davis got it back and hits it. Why not? Unbelievable. It is a huge game for both programs, who both appear to be sitting on the bubble right now. Trimble the floater. Oh, he's had a good game, too. Jalen Withers for three. Yeah, Withers hit over 40 threes last year for, for Louisville. Watkins comes up with the steal. And Worley will lay it in for the Seminoles. Timeout Leonard Hamilton with 3.29 to go. Under three to play. Nice crossover by Watkins and he'll lay it in. He's had to work hard for his dozen points today. He really has. And there's been very little. What a nice play by Seth Trimble right down the middle of the floor. And Carolina set a season high for fast break points uh, in this ball game. Almost had a couple more right there. The reverse for Zayden High. Everybody's getting in on the fun. When you feel for Florida State, they this has not been the Seminoles' day. Quarterfinals coming your way, including Duke and Virginia, each making their first appearance of the tournament. Seth Trimble's having a heck of an afternoon. Early on, did a great job on Jameer Watkins. Tough jumper. That will go for Josh Nickelberry, who's just coming in the last couple of minutes. In the mid to late 80s. I actually hosted him on his visit to Duke. Right. Zayden high again. Tom House into the game for Florida State. Spears is still in there and still knocking down shots. Well, they saw a workmanlike effort where Carolina was tough and together from the opening tap. Ninety-two sixty-seven. They win it going away.